my keto followers and I cannot get any more excited than this. I know, it is ridiculous. I'm excited over ice cream. Anyway, it's going to be a short video, um, but I just wanted to do a review on these ice creams I have been dying to try in so long. It is called Fro 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 Pro. It is, it's Fro Pro. Ugh. It is called Fro Pro these little ice cream containers I have been hunting down for a long time so I'm out in Western City so on the outskirts of the busy city out west and our normal shopping centers don't get the cool new crave foods we have to normally wait a while anyway I have been waiting a while and these ice creams finally came in stock into my local supermarket and I'm so excited because I get to try them and review them for you keto guys or just anyone who's on low carb high fat or anyone who's on a sugar free diet anyone who is on a gluten free diet anyone who just wants a healthier option for ice cream I have been told these are the things to go to now there is three flavors I thought as I ran to my Woolworths this afternoon I'm not gonna be too greedy I'll just get two types instead of the three so <laughs> The two types I've chosen are Fro Pro Green Tea and Mint and apparently the favourite, Peanut Butter and Chocolate Ice Cream. They look amazing, they look huge if I do that, but realistically they're not that big. And you're going to have a heart attack when I tell you how much they were. So these little guys are only 520 mils, as you can see right there. So pretty much half a litre of ice cream and they were on sale the sale price of ten dollars so i'm not sure how much these normally are because i was too scared to look and i was also so excited that i was screaming like a little girl in the ice cream i was going oh my god they're finally here so i just grabbed them off the shelf and was so excited to quickly get home and try them out now um so each of them of course are different flavors which means different calories, different sugar amounts, different carbs and different ingredients. So today I'm trying the green tea and mint which I will read for you now the nutrition information. So it says servings per container is five servings at 70 grams. So they reckon each serving should be about here. I'm an ice cream addict, that ain't gonna happen. So my serving size would be about this whole thing seriously this whole thing so anyway they reckon the serving size you'll get five servings per container at 70 grams which is about one scoop I'm guessing um, 71 calories per serving okay so all up what's that two things are 14 so it's about so 71 calories times five. That is, somebody help me out here. So this whole container is 355 calories. That's pretty good for a dessert. All right, so the protein per serving is 10 grams. So that's pretty good, 10 grams of protein. Um, the fat total is 1.1 gram per serving. Carbs per serving is 0.3 grams of carbs per serving and sugars are 0.3 grams per serving and the sodium is 41 milligrams per serving. That is pretty good for a dessert. But here comes the ingredients. Some people are very particular about what ingredients and things they put into their body. I'm, you know, I, I am very, you know, inquisitive of ingredients and things that they put in. Like, I don't like eating palm oils and things like that. So, I actually compared this to um, the Halo ice cream that was also on the shelf there. And I put the Halo ice cream back because this one was lower in calories, lower in sugar. I think the Halo, Halo ice cream was 5 grams of sugar per serving. I was like, whoa and the ingredients in the halo ice cream also contained cane sugar where this one does not so the ingredients for the green tea and mint is water whey protein isolate um, xylitol coconut cream premium matcha green tea powder pure peppermint oil stabilizers as in guar gum 
Lucas Bean Gum, Garrigan Man, and Xanthan Gum. Okay, that was a bit of a mouthful, but I've kind of done a bit of research in the past of those things, and they're, you know, not really good, but there could be worse things in this. And you know my rules about desserts, guys. I do not eat them every day, only special occasions. And after a busy week, this is going to be a good special occasion to sit down with the kids tonight and chill out and just eat some ice cream. Um, I also like the top part of the lid. I will just defrost that off. It says 71 gram, oh, sorry, 71 calories per serve. Low GI, high protein, low fat, 99% sugar free, all naturals, gluten free, guilt free dessert. That is a good thing. Now, the important thing is, does it taste good? Let's try this out. <laughs> so excited! Of course I have to try each. Um, I better let you know too, I've got the peanut butter and chocolate. This one is a bit more higher in calories, 87 calories per serve. It's still, you know, 70 grams per serve, five servings for, per container. Um, so this is 87 calories per serve. So it's about, you know, it's about 70 calories more than the other one. So it's not that bad. Sugars are still 0.3 grams. Carbs in this one are 0.9 grams. Um, fat is 1.9 grams. Protein in this one is 11.1 grams, I think. Yeah, so it's got a little bit more protein. Um, ingredients, water, whey protein, isolate, xylitol, peanut butter, woohoo, um, cacao powder, coconut cream, stabilizers, gums, um, xanthan and gum. So same gums as the last one as well. So, of course this is a, a review. I've got to try these suckers out. Do you know what's funny too? I'm actually hiding in my bedroom while my kids are eating their dinner. <laughs> How horrible of a mum am I? No dessert guys until you've finished all your dinner. Meanwhile, mum's hiding in the bedroom eating a container of ice cream. All right, so it looks like ice cream. Oh my God, and it smells like mint ice cream. I have not had ice cream in six months guys. Six months I have been ice cream free and now I am going to hook in to protein low calorie low fat sugar free ice cream for the first time in six months and this tastes bloody good I don't know if it's because I haven't had ice cream in so long I'm gonna eat anything that resembles ice cream or just because this is good all right here goes Okay, very grainy. Mm. It's melting very quick. There is a mint flavor there, but there is no cream flavor. It tastes like I'm eating a frozen peppermint, frozen peppermint smoothie. Um, mm, it doesn't taste that good. Oh no, my excitement level went from a 10 out of a 10 and it's now down to a 2 out of 10. But I'm still eating it. Um, yeah, it's grainy. It's very icy, very bland. I can just taste um, spearmint, I guess you'd call it spearmint, like chewing gum. It just tastes like I'm eating chewing gum. Hmm. But on the plus side, it has now cured my craving for ice cream. I do not want ice cream now. Um, if this was, if I had started craving ice cream and went to the freezer and grabbed a you know container of Peter's vanilla ice cream after one spoonful 
the sugar would have rushed to my head, I would have been all excited, and I would have eaten half a tub of the two litre Peter's vanilla ice cream. And so I was craving ice cream because I had heard on the radio today that these were now in my local supermarket. So I thought, yes, I'm gonna have ice cream tonight, I'm so excited. And now I've come home, tried this mint whey protein ice cream, and my mind has changed that I don't need ice cream now. That's the other thing, guys. We don't really need things that we crave. It's just our brain wanting what we can't have. All right, so that was the green tea and mint try. And yeah, it wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. Right now, my brain's like, hmm, what else can we have? Do you have any broccoli and cheese you can cook up? See, that's a plus. That's a plus when when your body's craving sweet things, don't go out and give in to temptation. Don't go out and be like, oh my God, I've been craving chocolate all day. I need a chocolate bar. You go out, you have a chocolate bar, 200 calories, gone. You're having a sugar rush. Then you fall off the sugar rush and you feel bad, you feel down, you feel bloated, you feel sluggish and you regret doing it. Not all the time. Sometimes you don't regret doing it, but you know, me mostly, if I fall off the wagon and go run to the nearest supermarket and grab a chocolate bar and then stuff myself silly, I would have just wasted a lot of calories, a lot of hard work, I've just shoved a whole lot of sugar into my body and then I would be feeling bad for it. So these things are good to have around because you do have those days where you are craving ice cream. You do have days where you're like, oh my God, I wanna go home and have some chocolate or peanut butter and chocolate. So these things are good, I guess, to have in the freezer for when you do have a moment like that. You can go home, do what I just did, have a couple of spoonfuls and went, okay, I've had my ice cream now. Wasn't that good. But now I'm going to make a veggie stir fry and be full and have some nutritious foods into my body, not sugary junk. All right, so now I'm going to try the Fro Pro peanut butter and chocolate. It looks all right. Mmm. It smells like a chocolate puddle pop. It smells like a chocolate ice cream. So as you can see, it's very, very um, icy and grainy and melts very quick. Look at me here sitting in my bedroom, locked door, kids out there eating their dinner and I'm here stuffing myself with ice cream at six o'clock on a Friday. Perfect. All right, now this one is actually nice. Um, I like that there's actual real peanut butter in this ice cream because you can taste it. You can taste the nuts. There's not much of a chocolate, fla chocolate flavor, but you can actually just taste the peanut butter and the cacao powder. So that's actually really nice. Mm. This is like a mild frozen Nutella spread whipped up and frozen into a container. This is actually, this is actually a nice dessert. Um, I couldn't sit there and eat the whole thing because um, peanut butter's not something that, you know, you've got those girls that crave peanut butter or those guys that can sit there and eat a whole jar of peanut butter. That's not really me. I'm always been a Vegemite girl um, or a chocolate girl. I've never gone to peanut butter or Nutella for a, a craving. So, but those who love peanut butter and, you know, peanut butter is their go-to treat, you're going to love this. This this is actually really nice. Mm, actually really good. Um, you can, yeah, you can taste the peanut butter through this. So this, this will be my favorite one so far. I will have to try the chocolate one. Um, the chocolate one is actually, I think higher, higher in sugar, carbs and calories. So that's probably why today I went, no, nah, don't get the chocolate one. Just grab the other two. Um, but yeah, the mint green one wasn't too crash hot. That actually put me off dessert. This one has actually made me go, oh, that's a nice dessert. Keep eating. Okay, brain. Gosh, dessert queen. Um, I don't think I would buy the mint green tea one again. It was too bland and boring. It just tasted like I was eating a box of chewing gum. And it was very icy and mild, very bland flavoured. But, you know, some people might like mild spearmint flavored things so that could be for them 
as I said, guys, these are $10 at my local Woolworths. Um, apparently, they've, you can check out the Fro Pro, Fro Pro website. They've just added, uh, I think they said 300 or 30, it must be 30, 30 new stock lists to their, um, 30 new supermarkets to their stock list. So a lot more Woolworths, IGAs are going to be popping up with Fro Pro. But beware, they are very expensive. So if you do want that treat, you know, go ahead and buy it for, a, you know, girls night out or stay at home, watch movies with the hubby. But it's not something to eat every day because we know it is full of a lot of stabilizers. Um, but yeah, it's good for a treat every now and again. So I'll probably eat half of this tonight. I'm um, just going to go make a stir fry now. We're going to watch a movie. The kids are going to have their dessert. I'll probably eat half of this one. Leave that one in, in the fridge as my, how would you say, turning off the sugar craze. So I'll come home from work after a bad day and be like, oh my God, I need something. I need some sweet treat or something. I have a couple of spoonfuls of that and then I'll be like, okay, I've had enough. I realize now why I don't like sugar. And then I'll be on my merry way to eating yummy meats or stir fry veggies. Anyway, guys, enough talking from me. I hope you like my review on the Fro Fro and the mint Fro Fro, <laughs> the green tea and mint flavor. So, as I said, you can get them at any Woolworths or local areas. Check their websites for stock lists in your area. I hope you liked this review. I just wanted to be honest and upfront and, you know, share my first time trying these little guys with you guys. So you can take it on board and it's up to you guys if you want to purchase them or not. But this one was the winner today. It actually tastes like a yummy frozen hazelnut chocolatey spread ice cream. So thanks for watching guys and I'll update you next video. Bye! Ah, oh, Keto, what have you done to me? I'm now choosing hot, spicy Mexican salads over ice cream. But you know what? I don't care. I would give up sugar and carbs any day now, by the looks of it, as my body craves salad, meat and veg way more. So that's a good sign. Um, I do listen to my body and when it says, I don't feel like ice cream, give me veggies. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm.